or as I heard in a meeting today, happy Friday Eve. So the schedule for the fall launched today. Uh, certain people were able to, or I'm sorry, launched this past Monday. Certain folks were able to start registering. I think open registration rolls out next week for the fall. Uh, so I want to talk about the schedule for the fall uh, and the summer. Um, keep in mind for the fall, all of our lab classes will be face to face for your lab hours. Uh, but all the lectures will still be online. Uh, except for editing two, editing two is the only one that's all online, but you have access to come into the lab uh, a few days a week. I will be putting up a schedule on the website to let you know when you can do that. Uh, so you have access to all the computers in the lab uh, for that course, even by not meeting. So, and then all our lecture classes, our lecture only classes will just be online. Uh, for the fall, just for the semester. Of course, we're seeing how things um, break out as, as we move through uh, this upcoming academic year. The summer courses are all online except for FTVM 130. Uh, that will have a weekly meeting in the KVCR studio on Thursday afternoons. Um, all the other lab classes, though, have the option of you as a student coming to our classrooms to use equipment, uh, to use a computer lab uh, Monday through Thursday uh, when the campus is, is open or when we can have access to um, someone to be there, probably Sam, our multimedia specialist, or myself, just depends on how it goes. Uh, but you will have opportunities to come to campus through the summer to work on projects and utilize equipment there. You can also check it out and take it home too. But let's take a look at the schedule. I just want to kind of talk about your options um, in our program, which I, I, I'm excited about. So you go in, pull up the schedule. <coughs> so what's nice about the schedule here, I think in the summer, is there's offerings that let you that get you ready for 200 level classes that you could take as soon as the fall. So for instance, if you sign up for 130. Uh, that taking that class uh, as a prerequisite for 233, which is our more advanced TV studio class uh, with Professor Lyons, uh, acting and directing. If you take that and you've taken uh, the FTVM 120 course, you can sign up um, for the short film production class FTVM 234 in the fall. So, and then certainly 114. Uh, the digital editing class is a prerequisite for what's going to become editing two in the fall. Uh, and the exciting thing there is you'll start editing the web series that was produced this semester in that course. And then by the time you get to editing two in the fall, you'll be working to do the final uh, post-production activities on that. So kind of exciting. Uh, you get to jump in on, on these things and get major credits um, on our INDB page for that, um, for the web series. Um, so I just wanted to show you that, let you know, hey, there's some courses that are prereqs for classes that are going to be offered in the fall, so get a jump start on them while you can in the summer. Uh, and then let's go back and take a look at the fall schedule. Uh, again, really robust schedule. Um, like it was this past year, you know, we haven't re we haven't had to cancel really. We canceled one section of one class this entire pandemic, uh, and now we're back uh, full on. Um, so here's your options for the fall. Tons of options to take. Uh, like I said, so if you take 122 and 120, if you have those both done by the summer, then you can sign up for short film production with me in the fall. Uh, those are the prereqs or, or 130 or 131, uh, but you definitely need 122 to get in this uh, course um, with me in the fall. This is where you're going to produce your short film. So if you haven't taken 122 or 130, you can get those both out of the way in the fall or in the summer and then be ready to take 234 in the fall. Also, there's 233, like I mentioned. So if you take 130 in the summer, you can be in 233. 
Uh, I know, you know, productions that we've talked about um, that we're going to do uh, this coming year include uh, in this class. Um, I think we're going to shoot a one-hour drama in the studio, so we'll build sets, uh, and you'll you'll get to working on on all of that. So it should be pretty fun. Short film production again. You're making your own short film. Um, this is interesting. Our two thirteen audio studio operations. This used to be just radio station operations, but because we do more than radio, we also do podcasts. Uh, you would take this class with Mr. Ripito and produce your own podcast show um, that will go onto our streaming platform uh, that basically broadcasts your podcast all over the place. So uh, it's really exciting. Um, also, we have this new class, Field Audio Production. So if you want to get into recording audio on location for film and TV, this is the class to take. It's one of our new faculty uh, Stefan Orozco, he's awesome. Uh, if you want to get into commercial commercial video production, should be radical this uh, fall too. Uh, one of our new professors, Darrell Thompson, will be teaching that. He uh, has years of background doing uh, commercial video production, uh, so you should get a lot out of that. Again, you'll need to take 130 to get in that, or 131. Uh, so if you've taken that or you haven't taken it, there's another another motivation to take 130 in the summer. Uh, as a prereq to get into this course. Um, that's that's about it. I just want to give those quick updates. Uh, what's going on? Uh, we Like I said, we will be face-to-face -face again in the fall uh, to a more normal extent. And if you have questions, hit me up. Talk to you soon.